All right, guys, so I didn't plan on vlogging today at all whatsoever, uh, but I just got home from like the worst session I've ever had pretty much ever. I'm supposed to go for like a heavy single today on deadlifts, which I'm still easing back into. I did pull 475 for two this week because like I said, I'm still easing back in. I haven't deadlifted in like six weeks, but I can deadlift again. I don't have like any pain back there. Now it's just back in my ad doctor. I just have a fat ass adhesion in there and it's just, it's really painful. So today I pulled 405 like as my warm up because like I was just warming up to like 500 for a single or something or something like easy. like. You know, 500 should be easy, but 405 was like an RP8 and it just hurt so badly. And I was like, fuck this, I can't deadlift today. So I went and like did some bench just to see how that felt. My elbows hurt so much. I think it's just all this volume and just like my sleep and nutrition just like fell off when I got injured. So like everything's off track right now, which sucks. But it's whatever because I just had like a spark of motivation. And yeah, I just basically, I wanted to show you guys really quickly what I just got from uh, GNC because I did do a big ass supplement haul. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm taking now while I'm bulking. Well, here it is. This is everything I got right now. I actually just like restocked on all of it since I was out of stock on most of it. So a few of these things are standard right now. You know, living gel or living green liquid gel multivitamins. I kind of, I take these literally every day. It's just like three big ass horse pills. So those are kind of standard. I'm now back on creatine after like four or five weeks off because I run out and I just get lazy to buy more, but my joints are like really sore, so some extra water retention will definitely help. Um, so I'll be taking this now, five grams every day. Now here's where like some of the big boy stuff comes in. I got a bunch of melatonin. Usually I don't do melatonin or like any kind of sleeping pills, but uh, recently I've had some trouble sleeping. I'm not really sure why. It's probably because my sleep schedule is so fucked up and I'm falling asleep at like different hours, but I'm going to start taking these before I go to bed because fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer. I really need that. So I'll be taking melatonin now. Now here's some new stuff. So I have strawberry flavored Synthes 6 here. This is more or less so for like in between shake meals. It's 22 grams of protein per serving, 200 calories, and like 10 grams of essential amino acids, whatever that means. Strawberry is like one of my favorite artificial flavors. I just love how it tastes. So I got this. I can, I'm probably gonna do like two scoop shakes just like in between my big ass mass gainer shakes. Fuck this stuff, I hate it, but it works really well. Um, because I struggle to get in calories. So it's like 1,250 calories per two scoops. I usually don't do two scoops. I usually do like one scoop at a time. Although now I'm gonna be doing like one big ass shake of 1,200 calories or I'll split it up between the day of like two scoops uh, cause it adds up to 1,250 anyways. But yeah, this stuff sucks. I got the chocolate flavored because Sawyer said the vanilla tastes like poop. And yeah, I had to get a bunch of that stuff. This is my old bag. All my old stuff is in there. Uh, let's see what else we have here. I restocked on some arginine. I don't ever take this shit. Uh, I literally barely ever use these. I don't think I've used them. They're just like watermelon flavored BCAs. Uh, I don't think I've used those like since I started working out. But yeah, this is everything I'm taking right now while I'm bulking. And hopefully it works. I mean, I'm just trying to... I'm sitting at like 171 morning weight again because... I, uh, I was working on a super special project and that required a lot of my time for editing so I lost a few pounds because I didn't get a surplus in that day. So yeah, today I'm just kind of treating as like a recovery day. So I'm going to make pasta, I have some rice in the fridge and uh, I'm going to actually try out the Synthes 6 today. I'm going to end my day with a shake and I'm actually going to take a big ass ice bath. <laughs> So I need to run to the store later and just get like a big ass bag of um, ice to dump in a bathtub. Cat, what are you doing? Bun Bun, what are you doing? Stop, get off the chair, don't claw it. Yeah, ice bath. I've heard from a few friends that it actually helps out a lot, so, Ooh. so I'm, gonna be I'm gonna be doing one of those. Uh, I, I think it's just like you sit in the bath like completely submerged, not like head submerged. Uh, for like 15 10 or 15 minutes, so I'm gonna do that. Hopefully it just like helps rejuvenate all of my sore joints and Big muscle knots. I also have a muscle knot in my forearm from benching somehow. So Yeah, I need to recover. I'm pretty fucked up right now. So it's like a few days after the eclipse that you just saw 
Uh, we are posted up at 8.46 p.m. at Goals Gym. I have legs today, and basically I just wanted to take you guys through a very detailed leg workout, just kind of explaining how I've been training legs uh, since I haven't been able to squat. But hopefully this is going to be one of, if not the last workouts before I'm able to squat again. Before I'm not able to squat? Before... One of the last workouts where I can't squat anymore because I've been like training through my injury and you know treating it pretty well and I haven't had any pain like noticeable pain just kind of stuff that I'm able to push through I haven't tested out squatting I can deadlift again so I honestly might feel it out in this session it will not be anything serious probably nothing over like 225 or I don't even know maybe not even like 185 we'll see I have all my shit with me uh but yeah, I was just gonna, I'm gonna do a voiceover, really detail oriented, you know, kind of, you know, showing you guys everything that I do during my leg workout, how I warm up, why I do certain things, and uh, I'm gonna pop some caffeine gum, and we're going to head inside. Alright, what's up everybody? So, to start off this leg workout, we are doing the voodoo bands on the stationary bike to warm up the hips, and uh, then we're going to move into some dynamic stretching. I just do like... 10 reps of leg swings forward and back both legs uh, I find this better than I guess just stationary or normal stretching because it just kind of warms up my entire body and that's kind of necessary for a compound lift so um yeah after uh, forward leg swings then I do some side leg swings lateral leg, lateral leg swings this just warms up my hips because if you're like me uh, you have very tight hips, and tight hips during squats is not optimal whatsoever. So, uh, I do whatever these are called. Uh, this is just to open up my lower back and open up my glutes because I also have very tight glutes, pun intended. And uh, wait, there was no pun. Anyways, yeah, I do these. I uh, just hold it for a couple of seconds, really open it up, get a deep squeeze and a deep pull. Uh, then I'll do toe touches just to open up my hamstrings and kind of open up my back in general and uh yeah here i am getting equipped for my squats um they f they felt pretty iffy <coughs> excuse me i'm still getting over my sickness um but yeah this is me just getting under the bar first time getting under the bar in like six weeks or something uh six weeks five weeks six weeks and uh, you can see on these reps here, I'm really just so like trying to stay as tight as possible. You'll see how like neutral my back stays uh, pretty much throughout all of these sets. Yeah, I just really try to stay as upright as possible because uh, one of the things is with this little back injury is that um, any time that I lose tightness whatsoever, it just starts to like seize up and. Um, yeah, that's it's kind of it's weird on high bar um because it's resting pretty much right on that area that hurts so this is just 135 uh you can see my braces are not like how they usually are i usually like to uh somewhat like bounce the weight on my traps a little bit just because i find it easier to you know tuck my lats down it's just a better like mental cue for me to get tightness uh before the actual squat but um, I'm taking more like deeper, calmer breaths, just kind of trying to seize up without doing the little bounce. Like, um, and I don't know, it, it felt strange, but I, I felt less explosive. That was the one thing, um, because I usually I'm pretty explosive with my squats and uh, I just felt slow here. So it started seizing up even on like 135. And this is actually me trying low bar and oh my god i cannot describe how weird this felt like if you squat low but i don't understand how how you do it it just feels so weird i actually used to squat low bar a long time ago and it felt relatively fine but i don't know after doing high bar for the last like pretty much year straight uh low bar felt so strange and i actually don't remember how this felt on my in injury i keep saying industry but uh i would assume it was pretty light load since it's only 135 so here is 185 uh, I actually have a pretty closer stance than I usually do uh, I don't really know why that was I think I was having some weird adductor tightness this day because I deadlifted a few days before but as you can still see I'm trying to stay really really tight throughout the whole thing I'm doing all of these beltless by the way uh, they would have felt better you know belted or equipped um, but yeah, I'm really just trying to stay super, super, super tight. And here are 
two plates, 225. Uh, the thing about this, as, as it got heavier on my traps, the more I could feel it, obviously, throughout, like, my spine. Um, so I need to get a deep tissue massage there again. Just really just go hard on that area. I just recently got a myofascial massage that kind of opened up everything else. Uh, because they say back pain stems from, um, chest tightness, but I... This guy has like opened up my chest twice and it still hasn't relieved the pain that much. And you can see like it just it, it literally feels like it clenches up and like just tightens and feels like it um feels like all the individual muscle fibers just kind of start like freaking out. But here is 275. This actually moved like very <laughs> decently well uh, compared to everything else. And then uh, what else to do when you're experiencing pain except increase the weight even more so here's 315 this is a pretty terrible idea if i do say so myself but i just wanted the reassurance that i could squat 315 <laughs> uh which i can now but um yeah i don't know when i'll be officially back to squats this is just kind of easy and so yeah it looked all right no, not much i can do I, it hurt a lot afterwards but it's not like it's not like a it's not like a, a sharp shooting or it is a sharp shooting pain but it's like I don't know. It kind of feels like it's sore. So, I don't know. I'm fucked up. I just need, I need a fucking sensu bean really badly. Uh, so, this is actually belt squats, which I have never done before. It's my first time ever doing them. And I put a little bit too much weight on this first time. And it's uh, three plates on the side for like six or eight reps or something weird like that. And I just realized this is way too much for how little I've been training legs. And uh, <coughs> I still did these in my sleeves and my shoes. And then I jumped down to two plates on each side for three sets of ten, inclu excluding the first set of like eight or whatever, how many it was. And these felt really weird. They felt so strange. I don't know. I, it's hard to describe, um, but I have like a pretty close stance on them. It just kind of felt like I was like, uh, you know when you deadlift and people say squat the weight up or like don't squat the weight up it literally felt like i was squatting the weight up which i mean technically you are um but yeah it felt weird i had no stress whatsoever on my back it was just pretty much all on my legs um so i'll definitely be using this thing more i think and uh here's the second to last exercise which are just leg extensions my camera actually died after I finish this set, which sucks, but as you can see, I'm strapping in, and I actually got some questions about this. Uh, I always strap in, or I pretty much always strap in on my quad extensions because it keeps your hips seated, and uh, <clears throat> if your hips are seated down, there's going to be less movement, and it's going to be more quad isolation, and I just find it better for me, uh, even though these sets are pretty sloppy because I, I really felt like shit this workout, but uh, yeah, that's why I strap in. And uh, after this, oh yeah, by the way, that was like 3 by 10 I definitely could have gone more weight. Uh, after this, I did two sets or three sets of hamstring curls, and then I did 3 by 20 calf raises, and then I went home and cried. And uh, yeah, that's it for the voiceover. <laughs> uh, okay, so basically, I am an idiot, and uh, my camera died, and I forgot to bring the other batteries with me, like a great YouTuber. So, that session was... Very meh. Um, squats felt all right, I guess. I have some knee pain, uh, and I guess that's just because I really need a deload week. But yeah, I mean, what can you do? I went up to 315 beltless, got it with a little bit of pain. It was kind of a dumb idea because I felt that area tighten up on my left side a little bit. So I'm going to get a myofascial, myofascial, myo myofascial massage tomorrow because it's like a pressure point massage and we get that all throughout my traps and hopefully that's going to be the be all end all of my longevity of pain so yeah I'm going to get that tomorrow take a rest day tomorrow because you definitely don't want to train after a massage like the day of a massage because it'll just like fuck you up so I'm going to make some pasta I'm going to do my two scoops of Synthesis, 6 and I'm going to have some other food stuff I apologize for how bad this video is. Is it going? Yeah. Hi hey guys, it's so, Sawyer. You guys want to see something gnarly? Hey, <laughs>
So how long until you come here? How many days? It's gonna be like, what? Is it like ten days? It's ten days. Ten days. Ten days. Ten days. And then I'll see you know Dom, Liam. We'll take a long drive, and we're gonna have like some awesome TikToks. It is. We're gonna be making TikToks, TikTok famous in about ten days. Yeah, we have ten day, ten days, and then we're gonna be TikTok famous. Uh, if you guys don't know, Dom's Dom the Muschietti. <laughs> On TikTok, <laughs> and I'm soy sauce. Liam, what what is Liam? What is Liam on TikTok? Liam Hamilton. Liam Hamilton. <laughs> Liam Hemsworth. Yeah. All right, yeah. So it's like it's it's ten o'clock right now on a Sunday. As you can tell, my voice is a little bit. Eh, 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 eh. I got a little bit sick. You know, we're recovering again. So um, we are at Gold's. I think it says Old's Gym today, or uh, today it's a. Uh, it's Goals Gym. We are at Goals Gym. Today I have back. So we're going to be training a super intense back workout. I'm going to take you guys through everything. And, uh, this has kind of been how I've been training it recently with my back injury. So tomorrow actually is my myofascial massage for uh, my injury again. It's kind of like a, a pressure point based massage. I'm really hoping they just release all the tension and built up in my upper back from this injury. And then hopefully this is going to be the be all end all. Don't have to worry about this thing anymore. Just kind of, you know rehabilitated after that and uh yeah i gotta take my arginine i'm taking two scoops of arginine right now it tastes like actual like it's pretty much like dirt you know kind of like mixed around with like some uh some sour sugar from those sour skittles i have my stringer on underneath of this i'm gonna listen to some machiavelli motivation during my workout and just get really hyped really get in the zone and uh i'll take you guys through everything that i do oh my god i have to poop so badly <laughs> I just almost spilled this entire tub. How tragic would that have been? So, like I said, two scoops today because arginine. Oh, okay, so a lot of people ask me, especially on uh, Instagram, in my DMs, what arginine does. It's just a pump product. It just like promotes blood flow or something weird like that. I get insane pumps when I take this, and I want to take some juicy pictures of my back today. So, two scoops down the hatch. Be warned though that this tastes awful i don't know if it's this brand like raw chemistry labs or if it's just arginine in general that actually tastes like shit oh my god it tastes so bad well now we are ready and i'm gonna go inside and take my pre-workout poo poo pee pee and get ready to destroy back and arms today tonight tonight i because it's 10 4. Two plates and a 25. 
I'm going to do heavy single arm rows with three weeks. Let's go. Some of you may be wondering why I strap in on uh, some of my back movements and this is because one, my hands get sweaty and two, I find that I activate my back more when I'm like strapped in because you're more like tightly engaged to it or something. But, yeah, I like to strap in a lot. Very tired. Bye guys, love you all.